Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do a Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So today we saw both Nifty and Bank Nifty opening with a huge gap down, and uh, was not actually, uh, you know, clearly trending downside. It created some volatility that usually happens when a market opens with a huge gap down. But anyways, like it was throughout. Uh, the day it was uh, within a selling pressure but at the end it recovered a bit so what can happen tomorrow is something which we are going to discuss so before we begin the discussion so this is how the chart looks like on a daily time frame so this was the level that we expected that after breaking the top line it may come to this place and there is a possibility nifty may spend some time here because we have seen consolidation here so we may see some more consolidation at this place. And similarly, if you look at Nifty Bank, so this was the level uh, which was important. That was around 37,150 or 37,200. Uh, so we broke that today with a gap down and we could see some selling pressure. So let's quickly check the data and see what should be the plan for tomorrow. So firstly, uh, FIs continue to be bearish. They have closed some more long positions in future and added some short positions, okay? But these short positions aren't that aggressive. So this is something which uh, we need to keep in mind. So previously when we saw, we saw that they were, you know, adding some aggressive shorts but today it is not that aggressive. So when it is not that aggressive, that means they can book some profits in their shorts uh, in the coming days or for this particular expiry. And then again, they can decide the trend. So today's low that we saw both in Nifty and Bank Nifty can act as a short-term low, at least for this particular expiry. So how are we going to plan the trade is something which we are going to discuss today. And in cash market, FIS sold for about 6,387 crores. So that is a huge number. And that too, they have sold when market opened with a huge cap down. <clears throat> so usually what happens is, you know, they create a so mindset that, you know, market is very bearish. So when... Uh, if you look at here, so these are retailers, right? So futures long and call long, put short. So when they become bearish is when they'll take the market on the upside because they need people to, uh, you know, take their positions. So meanwhile, if you look at uh, call options, uh, they're net long but this is not a huge number, so we can avoid it for some time. But they're definitely uh, long on the put side. So that means they are expecting a gap down opening tomorrow. And similarly, if we look at pros, uh, they are short in futures and call shots are more. Okay, And they have some put shots. So put short is small number, so doesn't really matter much but call short is something which we have to keep in mind uh, when i say keep in mind that means this is a huge number so there is a possibility that they may cover the shorts tomorrow so why because fis have not added too much of shorts today in futures as well as in call options so this will trigger a short covering if FIs want to, uh, if FIs are not in that position, so pros may want to exit their position. Okay, so keep this in mind. And another important thing here is the put call ratio. Now, let me just show you then. So, 0 0.47 is the put call ratio for Nifty and 0 0.53 is for Bank Nifty. So, both are at some kind of a reversal level. So, tomorrow, if market opens gap down, and within the low of both Nifty and Bank Nifty today. So if it doesn't breach the low or just in case one of the indices may breach the low uh, just to create some confusion. 
so there is a high chance that we may see a inside candle or maybe some sort of a recovery so the opening and where the market will go is something we'll check on the charts directly so right now what are the things that we have to keep in mind fis are not aggressive at this place okay this is something which we'll have to keep in mind so they are not selling anything aggressively neither the call option or the index future and so our main focus is fi so that's the reason why i'm uh, telling you to keep this in mind so they are not aggressive at this place and secondly uh, we saw that the put call ratio for both nifty and bank nifty are at reversal levels okay so these are the two points that we'll keep in mind cool so now let's jump to our charts and see what should be the plan for tomorrow okay so let's discuss bank nifty first since i have it open here uh let me move on to my normal time frame okay so this is the demand zone that we were talking about if you remember yesterday so market created some volatility here and finally it gave a false breakout and immediately recovered from this area okay and now if you see they have closed just above that demand level so here what we'll plan is uh, if at all bank nifty you know crosses this area so what is the high let's check that so let's consider 36900 okay so tomorrow if uh, bank nifty opens say within this place okay, this is a danger zone 36700 so below 36700 we will wait for a price action something like this and then we'll plan a put uh, for a target of this the pdl around 36500 Okay. But just in case, if it opens above 36,700 and uh, within 36,800, 900 or the today's close price, and if at all it breaches 36,900, we are definitely going to buy a call. What will be the target? Uh, let's quickly check that. So the target is going to be around 37,250 to 300. Okay, so this blue line. So this will be a target for the call option. So it's a beautiful entry. Uh, we'll at least be able to catch about 300 points. Okay, so this is the plan for Bank Nifty. Uh, okay, and what about gap up or a gap down? If Bank Nifty opens gap down, say if it is opening around 36,500 or 36, uh, 600, something like that. So maybe here or maybe here. Okay, what we are going to do is so this can be a little confusing because uh, you know they may try to be within this place. So when it crosses above this area, or say if it crosses above 36, 720, we'll buy a call. Okay, the only problem is we'll get some resistance here so around 36 900 so maybe you can book some here and you can wait with the rest of the lots to see if it travels higher because there are high chances that uh, in case of a gap down definitely it will be sideways a little so that uh, pros are able to exit their call shots okay so once the call shots are exited then the market can go higher okay so keep this in mind in case of a gap up any gap up uh, sorry in case of a gap down so any gap up opening say if it opens around 36900 we'll wait for this dip and we'll see if it reverses and breaks the high again we are again going to buy a call target remains the same 36 37 250 to 300 and in case of a gap up around 37000 then the market can remain sideways so we'll avoid that 
okay so this is the plan for bank nifty let's quickly check nifty as well so nifty opened below our uh, demand zone so that's the only reason why it uh, couldn't recover properly because yesterday we expected that uh, nifty may show a recovery but it did not show because it opened uh, right below the demand zone and right now this place acts as a resistance so above this high so if it opens here and if it crosses this place uh, what is that level 17200 okay so above 17200 so flat opening okay flat opening and if it crosses 17200 we are going to buy a call option our immediate target is going to be somewhere close to uh 17 350 will be our target okay somewhere here because it will try to come above this and it may then face a resistance here so we'll book around 17350 and in case of a gap down opening so this is the level which we discussed right uh, i told you that if it breaks 17400 we'll see a fall until 17100 and that's what it did today it recovered from this place so if nifty opens say gap down somewhere here now there is a possibility it may start traveling down and if it comes at this place we'll definitely buy a call here and we can plan a small target of 100 to 150 points uh, here i would not recommend you to buy any put options why because uh, you know we'll have to face a lot of difficulties because already wix increased too much today so there is a higher chance that market may remain sideways here to you know reduce the premiums or enjoy the uh, premium dk so flat opening and breaking of 17200 we are going to buy a call option so in case of a gap down around this place 17150 and then it breaks 17200 we'll again buy a call only when if it uh, opens gap down around 17125 we'll wait for a dip at this place and we'll buy a call here okay so why we are only thinking about call more the only reason is fis are not aggressively short here so that is the only reason so i hope uh, you enjoyed the analysis uh, thanks for watching please do share and subscribe the channel spread it to your friends we are soon coming with an algo uh, so i've already updated on my telegram channel about the algo it is almost over and right now we are uh, kind of you know developing a front end so that the other subscribers can use it so right now it is only in such a stage that i can use it for myself and there are a lot, lot of updates that i'm going to give about the algo in the coming days so let me see if i can record a video maybe tomorrow or day after i'll keep you guys posted about it thanks for watching let's meet on another video till then take care Bye bye